Hey yarn friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Thank you for stopping by today. I appreciate you clicking on my video to watch. And today I will be revealing my mystery crochet project that I shared a few, about a week ago and asked, could you guess my project? And so today I'm going to reveal that. <coughs> Excuse me, you will hear birds in the background because the bird cages are right over here beside me. And they can get very loud at times. So I apologize for that. But there's nothing I can do about it. Birds don't understand. Be quiet. <laughs> okay, so there were three people who actually did guess exactly what my project is. And those three people are Gina Dickinson, Stitchin' Ain't Easy, and Eight Smiley Lady. They guessed what the project is. There was lots of great guesses. I appreciate you playing along and just, you know, trying to guess. <clears throat> so, here we go. I'm going to show you what the project is. Okay, so it's Yoda. It's a Yoda blanket. And I'm making these little two round granny squares and putting them together to make this project. And so, this is the center of it. And this is how wide it will be. That's the widest part of the blanket right now. So it won't get wider than that. Um, except when I, you know, add, I guess I'll be adding little squares in to make it a complete square at one point. At some point, anyway. So this is the center and his head and the eyes. And then this is his ears. The peach is the inner ears. And then the green goes around the ears. So, and that's the same on both sides. <clears throat> so the next row, actually I think the next four rows will just be um, greens. And the green on the camera is not showing up really the green that the squares look in person. But anyway, I'll show you my project, what I came up with. I drew this out. I drew it out on some paper and then um, put it to this grid paper. So I am right here at the eyes. So I have a few more rows of green. I think it might be um, just three, three rows of green. And then I've got to start the brown and I have not purchased this brown yet. So I need a light brown and then a darker brown. So, and then I you know, have all these rows to go. And then I'm going to fill in um, with whatever background color that Dakota wants. So probably just start right here at that corner and come down, come down under that because the blanket's going to be big enough. It doesn't need to be added to. <laughs> and then just come around and fill in, you know, all these, all the spaces there. So that's my Yoda blanket that I'm making for Dakota. Um, he's excited about it. He knows I'm working on it because it's not like I can hide something like this. <laughs> and um, you can see I'm using a 5.5 .5 hook, two rounds, and each of these squares is three inches. So that's my project, and I'm having fun working on it. I usually make these little squares while I'm uh, watching something on Netflix or whatever streaming channel or watching YouTube videos I'll work on these little um, projects and I go ahead and weave in my ends of them and then I crochet once I get a row done I crochet those singles together to make the row <coughs> and then I um, crochet the whole row together as one and then I'm going ahead and taking care of all my ends except for, you know, the row that I'm on now because I will use that to um, tie in with the ends from the next row. So that's how it's looking and I'm mighty proud of it. I hope I can get this done by February the 20th. I don't know when I look down at the book. And see all those brown squares I need to make. And I haven't even purchased the brown yarn yet. So 
yeah, we'll see. I hope it, um, it's, it's went kind of fast so far. I mean, I know just making these squares, you know, I can make 10 of them in just a few minutes while watching something on, you know, but, um, I'm going to have to start working on this every day, I believe, to um, get all those brown squares done once I buy that yarn. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, and I just wanted to share this fun project with y'all. And I'll be sharing the progress as I get going on it. So I'll probably share it again in a week or so, so you can see how far I've gotten on it. But thanks for your support, and I appreciate you, and I'll see you all again very soon. Thanks, guys.